and Bill Warren. Hey, LeBron, I actually have two here, but um, one, I don't know if I've ever seen you and AD both miss a pair of free throws back-to-back uh, -back like that. Um, what was just your reaction to that sequence? Then the other one being, um, you, you had a week between games here in the bubble, you know, obviously with a lot of idle time, presumably, um, aside from practice. How did you spend that week between games and the playoffs? Yeah, uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, not normal for AD to miss two in a row. I've missed two in a row before. Um, you know, it's happened in my career before. Uh, AD shoots the ball extremely well. Definitely, uh, you know, wasn't expecting that. But we got to do a better job of making those. Those are easy points. Uh, get the team in the bonus. You go to the free throw line, you knock them down. Um, you know, so, you know, as the a, as a two uh, leaders of the team, we got to go up and knock them down. Um, what I did is uh, absolutely nothing. There's nothing to do here besides play basketball. Appreciate it. All right, thanks, LeBron. Thank you, LeBron. All right, we're going to keep you on. Damian Lillard and the Trailblazers take a 1-0 lead over the Lakers behind his 34 points, five rebounds, and five assists. Here he is. Well, that doesn't really make sense, you know, to come into a game thinking you can you can lose a game. I think you come into every one trying to win it. You know, the, the key in the playoffs is the first team to win four games, so I don't think it makes any sense to, to ever come into a game saying we can lose one. I think you always want to try to extend your lead in the series, and that's what that's what our mentality is. We also know that it's it's only going to get harder from here. Um, you know, they're they're a great team. Uh, they're the number one seed in the West for a reason. So it, it's going to get harder, but um, I'm not concerned with our our mentality going forward because I know I know my team. You know, I know I know who we are. I know guys. Uh, personalities and I know their style individually and the leaders of our team, uh, myself, CJ, Melo, Nurk, um, the team is going to go as we go, you know, as far as the mentality and I know what that is, so I'm not concerned about it at all. Okay, last question, Casey, hold up, Trailblazers.com. Important is it to keep that that kind of game one mindset going into into the next game, or just that that notion of the way you guys have been playing the entire time, and that you feel like you don't really have a whole lot of room for error. Therefore, like you have to play every single game like it's a must win. I think everybody has to um, because you know your season is is on the line, um, and we we should be proud that you know we pulled the first one out. You know it takes a lot of work to do it, but. Our, I think um, you just got to move on to the next one. We didn't have some big discussion like, oh, we haven't done anything because we have. We won a game. Uh, but we we smart enough to know it's like we won the game. That's a good thing. Now we got to prepare for the next one. Um, you know, we're not just overly trying to act like we're not proud of what we did because we are. But we also not you know going to rest in it and pat ourselves on the back. You know, we're going to try to figure out the things that we didn't do well that we could do better next game. Um, and just try to give ourselves a chance to, to win the next game. Great, thank you, Dan. Yeah. Anthony Davis added 28 points and 11 rebounds for the Lakers. He's sitting down to address the media now. Hey, Anthony, what did you think about the way that Portland defended you? Uh, did anything surprise you based on what your expectations were? And uh, how do you think you guys did in trying to, get, trying to create good offense, good shots? Uh, we playing for the double team. They didn't double team as much. Uh, you know, kind of left me one on one um, in a post, but you know, I was going out there being aggressive. I missed a ton of shots tonight. Um, we all did as a team. You know, we just got to be able to take our time and knock down shots um, you know, from the line and from three. So, uh, you know, we'll we'll be fine. You know, we, we continue to shoot with the ball with confidence and <clears throat> trying to work the kinks out um, from the from the three point line, and then. Uh, you know, we'll be fine. Guys, I've seen you guys did struggle from three for much of the seeding games, but you were pretty efficient inside the paint. Uh, tonight, that just didn't happen for whatever reason, as you alluded to, around 45%. What did you see at the rim? Was it something Portland was doing, or, or why were so many shots getting missed at the rim? Um, you know, they got a couple good rim protectors, you know, especially Whiteside. Um, you know, he's always, you know, tough to score on. Uh, especially in the paint, you know. So, um, but we missed some easy ones, uh, especially in that first half. You know, I missed a couple, um, you know, really easy ones. Uh, you know, we just gotta play through contact. You know, don't look for the fouls. You know, and just play through it. And, and you know, don't try to let the refs decide the game. I mean, you know, we were going in, 
you know, looking for fouls early. Um, you know, we just got to play through it and, and take our time and finish at the rim, regardless of a foul or not. Anthony, it's Dave. You might have um, started to answer what my question is going to be with that last answer to Mike. But how do you account for the eight for twenty-four? Uh, was it you know maybe needed to play more, play through more contact? And overall, your team shooting uh, was a, was another rough night. And uh, what can you do in game two? Um, make shots for game two. Um, but uh, just got to take our time at the rim. Um, like I say, just go go strong and finish or. Knowing that you know their rim protectors are gonna you know come and try to block a shot, you know dump it to the big guy or kick it out for threes, um, but we just gotta make shots, you know be confident in our in our process and our work, and and when we kick it out to our shooters, um, you know be comfortable and take our time and, and knock down shots, and that that's the difference in the game. Alex, Kyle Goon, please. Um. You know, you mentioned your slow start. Um, how much did LeBron specifically, as, as a playmaker, kind of get you confident in going? It seemed like he found you near the rim on drives and transition. Yeah, um, you know, just setting a lot of screens for him to get downhill. You know, and I'm rolling to the basket, but we start playing with pace. You know, he's really good when we're running. Um, the team is really good when we're running. And as long as we continue to play with a lot of pace, um, it's definitely tough to to beat us. It's when we slow down and. Um, we're not running uh, where we kind of get in, in trouble. So, um, for Sean played with a lot of energy, and we did that, uh, especially in that second quarter. You know, and when he got the ball and he's pushing, he's looking for guys, and it creates a lane for, for him to, to be able to attack the basket. So, um, just got to continue to play with pace and, and make it tough on their defense. Okay, Brian. Another coach got asked this today. Uh, does it feel like the playoffs? And, and with the whole scenario here of where you guys are in this situation, I mean, does today feel different than last Tuesday or than any other day down here? Uh, no, I mean, they all feel the same. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we, I mean, we know it's the playoffs, but as far as the atmosphere, I don't think anything really changed. Did, I, did that affect at all what happened today? Were there moments where you said we need a crowd? Um, no, I mean, you know, they did to, to lose the game where it was on us, um, self-inflicted. Um, like I said, it's a little different, especially in the playoffs when you're on the run or, <clears throat> you know, anything like that. You kind of get that home crowd into it and they, and they kind of get you going. Um, put a little pressure on the opposing team, but, um, you know, we know coming in that it's not going to be that. You know, we only have our bench, so, um, you know, our bench is trying to make up for um, the crowd. Tisha, I have one more here, and then you, I'll <clears throat> toss it to you. Joe Barton. Anthony, what did you think of, of Laker offense in the last couple of minutes as far as where the ball was, what what you, what you, shots you were looking for, what shots you got? I think it was pretty good. I mean, we got some open looks you know, that we missed, looks at the rim that we missed, um, got to the line. You know, I missed two. Um, LeBron missed two. We missed a ton of free throws tonight. Um, I think 11, so I think our offense is pretty good, you know, besides the, the, you know, poor shooting from the three and from the line. But um, we can see, we see where we can be, especially in that second quarter, you know, when we're running and, and playing fast, you know, that's how we want to play for all four. Um, and I just think, you know, we can't let our missed shots affect what we do, you know, especially on the defensive end or, you know, make us hesitate and not take, you know, open shots still. So. Um, you know, but I think our offense is pretty good, but uh, you know, we can definitely be better for sure. Hey, D, maybe not in game one, but do you think down the line in this series, your guys' relative rest and conversely, you know, the intensity that they have to play up for so long is going to end up benefiting you guys in the series? Uh, we don't know. Um, you know, obviously we want to continue to play fast, just knowing they're playing a lot of minutes, but. Um, you know, we try to just play fast and, and play how we play. Um, you know, we know that they've been playing a lot of games, and every game here in the bubble has been a game seven for them. So, you know, we just try to continue to play with a lot of pace, a lot of energy, and, and put a lot of pressure on them, um, you know, how we did in the second quarter. But we got to do it for the entire 48. Last question, Dan Mikey. Anthony, um, Portland had one of the worst defenses, and I think second worst of anybody inside the bubble. 
how frustrating, frustrating is it for you guys to have that kind of an offensive performance against them? And were they better than you thought? Or is this more, again, about just kind of you guys and, and what you're going through on offense? No, they're a good team. Uh, they're here for a reason. Um, it's not no surprise that, that they're here. Um, you know, for us, it's just about making shots. Uh, we're getting every, all the looks that we want. Um, you know, we just we just got to take our time and knock them down. You know, our shooters got to continue to shoot. Uh, we got to shoot better from the line, from the line as a team. And you know, when we get in the paint, you know, instead of looking for a foul, play through the contact and, and finish around the rim. So, um, you know, we, we got you know everything we wanted on offensive end, just a matter of, of, of making shots. Thanks, Eddie. Yeah. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks Eddie. CJ McCollum added 21 and five for the Blazers in the win. Here he is after the game. Uh, Terry uses the word trust a lot with you guys. And can you maybe explain how he instills that in you guys and how that comes into play in games like tonight? I think the, the biggest thing for us is just the relationships that we have. Uh, the, the trust comes from what we've gone through individually, what we've gone through collectively, and, and, the, and how we hang out off the court. So it's easier to trust people that you like enjoy being around. So then, you know, making an extra pass or understanding that Gary's going to hit a big shot down the stretch, even though he decided to backboard, or understanding that I'm going to go and, and make the extra pass or, or step up and take the shot or Dame's going to take the shot down the stretch. And it's just the trust and understanding that, you know, we, we hold each other accountable, but we also uh, empower each other.